What's up everybody? Welcome back to another Mullet Man episode. It is a windy Monday, but it's a good Monday because I'm at the lake and we are putting the boat in, me and my brother-in-law Judd, and uh, it's that time of the year. It is time to go after the white bass. They should be running in the river right now. Haven't got any updates from anybody, but it's that time of year. It's 76 degrees. First time it's been this hot in months. Um, so we're gonna see if we can't go find them. It's a good sound right there. As you know, if you watched my last couple videos of this new boat that I got, um, I got some new fish finders for it. And I went with the Garmin. Uh, this is a 10 inch. I got it from my buddy Alton Jones. He is uh, he fishes on MLF. So he runs the best units around. I hope y'all can hear me. It's super windy, I know. But uh, we're just going through the motions of this new graph, trying to figure it out. We're gonna make a run down river real quick, see if we can find a school of whites and uh, start wearing them out. guys so we made it down here to the river uh, we just got a lot of rain last week so before that it was even more shallow than it is now but me and Judd you can see over there Jeff and uh, Ronnie are fishing over there but you can see past them there's a little ripid there's a little rapids and uh, we pushed past it to try to get to the fish that are beyond that but it was just so shallow all the way down to that uh, that bend in the river so came back down here and um, started catching a few fish so we're gonna fish a little longer get some more for dinner but we got we got five or six good ones so we're gonna see if we can't get a few more in the boat the run has not started fully yet um but we have found some fish so can't complain about that we're gonna see if we can catch a few more and then uh eating fresh fish for dinner throwing a little uh throwing this little guy little rooster tail whatever you want to call it um these fish are jumping everywhere just cast out and give it a slow retrieve and wait for the bite Jeff's wearing them out Jeff I'm gonna have to come steal your hole They're barely hanging on to the mouth. Golly, he smoked it right there. That's a big one. Golly. <laughs> Looks like a hybrid. Dude, that's stuck in my leg. Keep a keep a. Who buys two pieces? Judd. Huh? <laughs> oh, there he is. Oh, that's a big one. Dude, some of these are chunks. Yeah. 
Man, I was barely reeling it. Big ol' sucker. Big ol' fatty. We are back at the house, about to clean up these fish, make some dinner. I think I'm gonna do some blackened fish. So, show you how to clean one of these guys right here. Big old white bass. These are females um, running up into the river, um, getting ready to spawn. Northern Knives Fisher, y'all have seen them in every episode. Go check them out. Their link will be in the description. Best fillet knife ever. Take your fillet knife right here behind the, uh, behind the gill plate. So make that cut behind the gill plate. Take the tip of your knife, run it down that backbone until you get past the ribs. Pop it through the other side. Cut it down like that. Follow your ribs. Cut through a few pin bones. Just like that. That's one side knocked off. Let's get the other side. That's a male. So this is a big male. I said female. That is actually a male. Same thing on this side. Run your knife down the backbone, up those ribs, down the other side, cut through. There is your two fillets. Now all you gotta do is knock the meat off the skin. Sharp knife makes it an easy job. And that is your skinned out filet. So there you have it. Two, two white bass filets just like that. I'm going to finish up. We got one, two, three, five more. I'm going to clean those up and then uh, see you guys in the kitchen. All right, our pan is hot. So what we're going to do, put a little butter in there. Little butter and a little bit of Texana Brands garlic infused olive oil. We're blackening this fish. Um, gonna put it over the butter ice. It's gonna be good. All right. So you want your butter and your oil to mix together. Now what you want to do? Take your Critter Glitter Fish and Fowl. This is like the best blackening season ever. It's my dad's favorite. He blackens fish all the time with it. You want to put a good coat of it? I'm making this for my wife. Um, I'm not hungry right now, so I'm making it for her. So I'm not going to put a whole lot. Um, the more you put, the better the blackening is, but she doesn't like too much because it does get spicy um, the more you add. So season that up. Get that butter and olive oil moving around in your pan. Set these two fillets in there, just like that. And then we're going to throw in some onions as well. <coughs> that cutter butter gets me. Throw some onions in there. Let it all kind of cook around. Let that fish really get black on either side. Then you want to flip it. It doesn't take long for this fish to get done. White bass is a super good fish to... Um, the blacking because it doesn't doesn't really fall apart um, like crappie or or perch would. So uh, if you ever catch a white bass and want a blackened fish sandwich or just blackened fish in general, it's a good fish to do it with. Fish is done, so I got a better ice here. Put some salt and pepper on it. Take the fish if you can get your fish. Take your fish, put it on the rice. 
just like that, and then some caramelized onions. Mm. Just like that. Now this is a pretty bland looking dish, but she doesn't want to be on camera, so I'm gonna taste it for her, even though I'm not hungry. I'm gonna give it a rating, one out of 10. Get a little fish, get a little rice, one out of 10. Mmm, doesn't get better than that. That made me hungry. I might have to make some more. That is so good. White bass, that gets a solid, that gets a solid eight and a half. That is so good. I'm gonna let her finish her dinner, so. Let me know what other recipes y'all would like to see. Um, if y'all have your favorite recipe, leave it in the comments. I wanna try out some new recipes. Um, do some recipes that you guys would like to see. And leave a comment if y'all would like to see a cookbook from Mullet Man, all the recipes that I do with Wild Game and stuff like that, leave it in the comments. Uh, that may be in the works already. So leave in the comments what y'all would wanna see in that. And uh, until next time, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, and eat good.